Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. Hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we're going to be saving Nick Valentine. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to turn around, face north. We're going to walk straight down here, and then right here at the crossroads, we're going to take a right. Oh, looks like somebody's over here. Damn, another shoulder wound. Interesting. Just a single raider over there, huh? Right here at the Hebrews Comics, we're going to go inside. Let's turn on our Pip-Boy lamp. Let's loot this guy real quick. Be very careful, we're going to have a ton of ghouls in here. Good job, dog meat. Tear him up, boy. We're going to go over here by this cash register, get the Hubris Comic Storeroom key, pick up a second Unstoppables comic book. Nice. We'll be able to get now 2% of a chance to avoid all damage from an attack. It's really useful to have. Right here, we can pick the lock on this display case. That's it. Yes. And then we can grab the Grognax axe. Jeez, that's a mouthful. Right here, if you don't have the skill to lock pick, which I hope that you do by this point, you can always uh, hack this terminal and open it up. Let's go inside here using the storeroom key. And then we can go over here. Grab up all of this stuff. By the way, if you're playing as a melee build, that axe is one of the best axes in the game for a melee build. Besides, like, a legendary or something like that, you can get a really good legendary. <laughs> Damn it. You messed up my flow, man. It's on a streak, not getting hit. Got all messed up because of that one ghoul. Grab this cap stash. If you want to read the scavenger notes, you can. Dog meat, get out of the way. I switched out Kiri to try to see if dog meat would be better to navigate with. And so far, it's a little better. Kiri is not very fun to travel with. Right here, we're going to pick up this silver shroud photo. We're going to need that for an NPC and good neighbor. We have not been to good neighbor just yet. But once we do, we'll be using that, or, well, not using it, we'll be giving it to the NPC. Let's lockpick this door. Nice. You can go into that terminal if you like. Continue upstairs. Oh, wow. I didn't even notice he was a legendary. Just started shooting. Dog meat, man. You're being as bad as Kiri. Just 
just want to take out all these ghouls while you can. Oh my goodness, dog meat. That was slick. I think there's another one over here. Rad Roach, that is. Right over here, we want to get the Silver Shroud script. You can read it if you want. Over here, I believe, is another script for the Silver Shroud, but you can't take it. This is the only one you can take. Really careful, we got a lot of ghouls over here. Take some rat away, heal ourselves up. Is there another go must be downstairs. You can use this to turn on the theme song for the Silver Shroud and like change the lighting and all of that stuff. Right here we're gonna pick up the silver submachine gun prop. Perfect. We're gonna need that as well. Oh my god, dog meat, dude. Grab the silver shroud costume. We're going to be wearing that in a little bit as well. And then right here, the Grognak costume. Bingo. If you are a melee build, you have now got two items that will be imperative to your build. The Grognak co costume will increase your strength and melee damage. And then you have that axe, which is going to cause bleed whenever you hit an enemy. Let's grab this jet, and then we're going to grab the astoundingly awesome tails. There we go. This one is going to give you a 5% damage with the alien blaster. So if you're using the alien blaster, you'll do 5% more damage. You can go on top of the Hubris comic book store if you want, but there's nothing up there. It's just a faster way to get down. At least I'm assuming that's what they intended it for. It's what I normally use it for. Hop down here, and then we're going to exit Hubris Comics. Let's go ahead and go to the left. We're going to stay crouched. Because there is a lot of enemies over here. Well, not a lot of enemies, but there's one enemy that's pretty tough. We're going to be taking them out. It's actually part of an achievement trophy. If you kill enough of the super mutant goliaths, I think they're called. Over here is the Boylston Club. If you want to go in there and loot it, you can. Some pretty good loot over there. For now, we're going to kill Swan. This is Swan's Pond. And Swan is no joke. Just keep shooting. We're going to put on some Radex. We're going to grab the Furious Power Fist. He will always drop this, so this is a guaranteed to get.
There's a bunch of scraps of paper that can give you Swan's backstory. He was actually part of the Institute and was outcast for reasons. I'll let you guys read up on that if you want to know why he was outcasted from the um, Institute. Nice. And then right here, we're going to grab a Grognak the Barbarian magazine. Let's go ahead and take some rat away because we got irradiated quite a bit. And then right here, we're going to be heading down into the Park Street Station. Let's turn on our Pip-Boy lamp and then go inside. I'm telling you, joining Skinny Malone's crew was the best decision we've ever made. Look at this place. I still say Malone's weak. He caught that detective snooping around, and what does he do? Locks him up. Like he ain't got the balls to just kill him. Well, don't let his new girl hear that. She'll start swinging that bat of hers at your face until there ain't no face left. What? Shoot! Shoot! Ellie felt that! Ah! Turn on our pit boy again. And then we're going to lock pick this door. Sweet. Grab ourselves a cap stash and then we have a safe to lock pick as well. Yes. Not much over here. I believe there is some loot over here, but there is a tension trigger. Grab the grenade bouquet. Now get ready for quite a fight. We're going to have a ton of Skinny Malone's goons down here. Be sure to disarm that and the makeshift bomb. Oh, that's dog meat. I <laughs> just shot dog meat on accident. My arm. He's here for the detective. I him off. Move it. I am here for the detective. Hopefully it doesn't annoy people when I'm commentating on like the things that NPCs are saying. Come on, pop your head out of there, bud. That wasn't too bad. Feel like those guys went down fairly easily. Got it. Be careful for the trip wire here. Nice.
Man, I am running through this 10 millimeter ammunition. Even though I have 961, it goes pretty fast. I want that Nuka-Cola Quantum. Always want the Nuka-Cola Quantums. We're gonna hop up here. We have two guys over there, or actually three. That's right, usually one's sleeping over there, but it's not night, so he's not sleeping. I'm used to it being night when I come over here. So the guy will be sleeping over here. I'll take him out and then I'll take the other two out. And then we're going to come over here. Sweet. So I got a question. Why the hell would anyone build a vault out of a subway station? This place is like the opposite of airtight. Because they weren't planning to use it, you moron. We used to pull this kind of con all the time back before the war. Get a bunch of union boys to work some construction job that would go nowhere. Keep everyone on payroll. Oh, I'll find you. Get it all right! <laughs> Good job, dog meat. Got a level. Let's go ahead and level up real quick. 
We're going to put one into perception. And then I think I'll put one more into perception. And then we're going to start working on riflemen. Because I want to use my combat rifle here soon. Go into Volt 114. How you doing in there, Valentine? Feeling hungry? Want a snack? Keep talking, meathead. It'll give Skinny Malone more time to think about how he's gonna bump you off. Don't give me that crap, Valentine. You know nothing, you got nothing. Really? I saw him writing your name down in that black book of his. Lousy cheating card shark, I think were his exact words. Then he struck the name across three times. Three strikes? In the black book? But I never... Oh no. I, I, I gotta smooth this over, fast. <laughs> Took Dino out quick. That's it. you I don't know who you are but we got three minutes before they realize muscles for brains ain't coming back get this door open we're gonna go in here and open up the door you gotta hack that terminal to open up this door ah uh -huh, my knight in shining armor Question is, why does he come all this way, risk life and limb, for an old private eye? Whoa. What... what are you? Told you, I'm a detective. Look, I know the skin and the metal parts ain't comforting, but it's not important right now. The only thing that matters is why you went to all this trouble to cut me loose. My son, Sean, is missing. He was kidnapped, but I don't know who took him or where they went. Missing kid, huh? Well, you came to the right man, if not the right place. I've been cooped up in here for weeks. Turns out the runaway daughter I came here to find wasn't kidnapped. She's Skinny Malone's new flame, and she's got a mean streak. Anyway, you got troubles, and I'm glad to help. But now ain't the time. Let's blow this joint. Then we'll talk. Malone's crew here used to be small time, muscled out of the old neighborhood by bigger players, until they found this place. Don't know what happened to the previous owners, but they're not exactly around to charge rent. An empty vault. Perfect hideout. We're going to grab the speech bobblehead. There we go. I love this bobblehead because now all vendors will permanently have a hundred more caps for bartering. Awesome. Now let's go ahead and listen to some hollow tapes. This is Vault Tech interview number 03 for the position of overseer for Vault 114. Interview subject, Benjamin Beasley. Mr. Beasley, as overseer of Vault 114, how would you settle a disagreement between two of your vault residents? Well, I would obviously take it through the proper channels, assuming neither of their requests were against the law, of course. This is, of 
course, assuming that the conflict had already gone through all the other members of the Vault's Residence Council, that I plan on organizing. Vault Residence Council, you say? Yes, of course. People need government. They yearn for it. I think it's a civic duty of every red-blooded American patriot to serve the... Yes, I think we have everything we need here. Thank you for your time. Oh, already? Well, I look forward to hearing from you soon. Yes, I'm sure you will. Please make sure to fill out your non-disclosure agreement on your way out. This is Vault Tech interview number 21 for the position of Overseer for Vault 114. Interview subject, Kimberly Weiss. Hello, Mrs. Weiss. How do you do? And may I just say what an honor it is to even be considered for the position of Overseer. Ever since I was a little girl in mock government, I dreamed that one day I would have the opportunity to lead a community to greatness. My teachers all told me I had leadership potential, and without my guidance as student council vice president, those bake sales surely would have failed. Just the thought of being able to organize and run this small group, to show them a better way, to lead them to a future so bright that they... My goodness. Looks like we're out of time. What? We just started! Yes, yes. Thank you. If you could just send the next candidate in as you leave. Oh, uh, of course. Uh, did I mention I was head of my debate team? I'm sure you did. Thank you. <sighs> this is Vault Tech interview number 87 for the position of Overseer for Vault 114. The candidate has refused to give his real name and has only provided the name Soupkin Harry. That's right. I ain't telling you nothing. My name is the name I call myself, not the rank and number the government brands on me. No, sir. Fascinating. Mr. Um, Soupkin, would you mind telling me why you're distrustful of the government? I've seen what they do. Gum up the works with red tape and bureaucracy? Take every hard-earned cent and use it to fund their Illuminati, Freemason sex parties. <sighs> I'm a free man. I should be able to live as I see fit. My taxes pay for them streets and alleys and dumpsters. I'll sleep where I want. Sir, according to this, you haven't paid taxes in many years. I seen the back of them Abraxo boxes. Not for consumption? Don't you tell me what to do. I'll eat what I want. Sir, you may just be the perfect candidate. How would you like to be the new overseer for Vault 114? I ain't wearing no goddamn tie. Or pants. What a ridiculous dude. Although, I could definitely see somebody being like that. Like, in real life, is what I'm meaning.
This door's on the fritz. Let me see if I can get it open. Almost got it. There we are. Hell of a lot easier to do when the lock isn't on the other side. Just keep moving through here. Right here, I love this astoundingly awesome tales cover. Bingo. Looks so freaking awesome. I don't know. Just the artwork on here looks really cool. This is gonna give us five more action points. So it's not a bad one to have overall, no matter what build you're playing as. That guy was just oblivious. Let's go ahead and turn off this radio. Got it. Who's there? You're dead! Face breaking time! Okay, not bad. Got me! They won't be bothering anybody now. More stairs? Who built this damn vault? A fitness instructor? <laughs> Nick Valentine, you're a synth. What are you talking about? Going upstairs. Oh, I'm gonna have fun with you. <laughs> Got it. Grab all of this stuff here. That's it. Skinny Malone and the rest of his boys are waiting for us somewhere. The name's, uh, ironic, but don't let that fool you. He's dangerous. Another locked door. Shouldn't be too hard. Okay, I got it. But I hear big fat footsteps on the other side. Once we step through this door, get ready for anything. Come into my house, shoot up my guys? You have any idea how much this is gonna set me back? I wouldn't be here if it weren't for your two-timing dame, Skinny. You ought to tell her to write home more often. Oh, poor little Valentine. Ashamed you got beat up by a girl. I'll just run back home to Daddy, shall I? Should've left it alone, Nikki. This ain't the old neighborhood. In this vault, I'm king of the castle, you hear me? And I ain't letting some private dick shut us down now that I finally got a good thing going. I told you we should have just killed him! But then you had to get all sentimental. All that stupid crap about the old times. Dollar, I'm handling this! Skinny Malone's always got things under control. Oh yeah? Then what's this guy doing here, huh? Valentine must have brought him here to rub us all out. Wait, Skinny. Remember the quarry? Lily June on the rocks? Ring any bells? How the hell did you know about that? Okay, you two can go. You got until the count of ten. Then I don't care what happened back in the old days. You're dead. What are you doing, Skinny? Kill him! No, Dollar. They get one chance to leave. 
Skinny Malone's putting his foot down. My mother was right. You mobsters are all just talk. We better get out of here fast. One. Two. So because we helped three, out um, Mama Murphy and gave her some of the Kims, she gave us that dialogue. If you didn't do that, you'll get other dialogue and she'll still leave. It's just something that I think most people don't see. So I figured I would use that dialogue instead. Let's go up this ladder. Nick. Are you ready to talk? How do you know to find me down in that old vault? Your secretary, Ellie. She sent me. She did? I should give her a raise. Now, you mentioned something about your son, Sean, and how he went missing. I want you to come to my office in Diamond City. Give me all the details. Besides, I think you've earned a chance to sit down and clear your head. You said Diamond City, right? Yeah, you know the way? Southwest a few blocks. My office is in the back alleys with the neon heart sign out front. I'll meet you there. See you in Diamond City. So we'll meet up with Valentine a little later. For now, nice new milestone reached for getting that trophy. Awesome possum. For now, though, what we're going to do is in the video, I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. It really does mean a lot to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.